Hey guys, we're here today for part two of the computer build and studio build. Uh, we did several hours of troubleshooting off camera because that stuff's boring, let's be honest, and the computer didn't work. Boiled down to the motherboard, thankfully it was under warranty, so got a new one right down there. And we're gonna do a little bit more static electricity protection. Um, I'm not wearing socks, and we're on a hardwood floor. So we're gonna hopefully build it, and I would really like for it to work today. Wanna get to it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, you want to start with the motherboard? That's it. Yep. Friends, I can do. Yeah, considering we just did this, it should not take very long now. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. We weren't using any magnetic tip screwdrivers anyway, but I made sure that this one wasn't magnetic, so that's a definite good to go. Caleb's got a screw, we just Caleb's got a screw. back and forth a couple of times and eventually you get it. Yeah. Alright, I know if we're looking at the back side of this, but that's okay. Ready? You ready? Put it on. We have some lights. I, was, I think we're supposed to wait a couple minutes for it to like do something. It's either on this or on like when you first started up. Let's wait a couple minutes first. Ah, I need this to work. We need to do videos. You want to turn it on? How do I do that? Power button on the top. Alright. Ready? Yep. Did you do the same thing you did last time? No, this just started spinning and immediately turned off. That's what it did last time. And this was so going? Yeah, it's exactly what it did last time. I, during troubleshooting, I had someone say that it it may not be enough power. Period. Mm -hmm. Seven fifty, even though it's it's supposed to be four hundred needed, so you had twenty percent. That's going to put you at 480, about 500, and I got 750. Someone's, someone said it wasn't enough. All right, so after a lot more troubleshooting and sending the computer in to a professional computer diagnostic store, it's finally up and running. What they ended up finding out was this SATA cable has a short in it. So every time I was turning it on, it would click off immediately because there's a short. Um, I'm, gonna not, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea where the short in this is, but we got a new power supply, all new cables, replaced everything, now it turns on, now it works great. So what we're gonna do with this is throw it away. We do not wanna touch that anymore. Now that we've got the office part built, let's head over to the studio and get that set up. For a good studio, you need a good backdrop. Now this backdrop I've actually been planning for a couple of years. They're actually gonna be these Hot Wheels. 
I've been collecting these since about 2016, so almost five years now. And as you can see, I've got a lot. This whole bin is full and all these on the top of the lid were ones that wouldn't even fit. I've got quite a few, exact number, no idea. Maybe I'll count as I'm putting them up. We're actually gonna put them on this wall back here. So it'll be the backdrop for a studio whenever I need to do a direct to camera piece. So let's get these up on the wall, see how it looks. Well, I think we've gotten as far as we can. Ready for the big reveal. Ta-da! In as small as the room we have, we've got a full studio. Two Westcott spider lights, one T5, one three. Nice Fuji X-T2. Atomos Ninja V5 monitor. My computer, from which I'll do all my editing. You saw the whole build earlier in these series. Got a little gaming corner with PS2, I know, cause I am old school. Some Legos up top, a grill for my old Jetta, WRX wing I got from a junkyard. And then probably my favorite part, all these hot wheels. So many. I need some more to complete the wall. We'll get to that in a second. We've also got a mini fridge, some paper, charging station, main state flag. Got all my equipment usually goes there when it's not set up like this. Now, let's show you what it looks like in front of the camera. I think it looks pretty good. Little bits needed down here, but I mean, that's not a problem. It's just collecting more Hot Wheels, which is always fun. And I only use two lights, not just for space saving, but with a three light, three point lighting setup, you get the same effect with two lights. The fill from over here would just be adding a little bit, taking away some of these shadows. You can ask me more questions and I can explain why I do what I do when it comes to filming in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video inspires you to build a home studio no matter how small your space is. Thank you again for watching. Have a good day. Remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.